Okay, so um, I had some technical difficulties there, so I had to pause or start another video. So what I just did here was I went to our Canvas homepage. You right-click on your mouse and then click Copy Image. Then you go to Photoshop and on your keyboard you click Control, hold it down, Control and V, V as in Victor, Control V, and you will get your butterflies. So that's your first goal is to learn how to copy and paste into the document. Okay. Now as you can see here, when I copied the second butterfly, there is a white background. So the next thing we're going to learn is how to get rid of this white background. Okay. Now when you're in Photoshop, up here you can see the files that are open. Sometimes there's a handy dandy ruler here. This is the toolbar. We're going to learn all about these tools. This is up here, I would call this your menu options. You need to make sure your history window is open. So to do that, you go up to your menu, you click on window, make sure history is checked, and then this window should open. This is great if you mess up, which I mess up and you will mess up. So you can click back on the history window. It's wonderful, but it's temperamental. So if you start working away and then you mess up and you look and the history window isn't open, you can go a window open, but it won't have saved your past steps. Okay, so a good rule of thumb is as soon as you open Photoshop, make sure your history window is open and then make sure your layers window is open. Layers, it's this one, okay? Your layers window is everything. Let me put it over here. So layers, in Photoshop, you're always gonna have a background. And then you have layer one and two. You could have an infinite amount of layers. I like to think of Photoshop like a stack of papers and the top papers, anything above the background is see-through. So let me explain that to you. So on your layers, if you close this eyeball here on layer two, if you close the eyeball, it just temporarily makes the layer unseen. Okay, it's unseen. I'm gonna close the layer here. It's unseen, okay? But those layers are still there, I did not delete. And the reason you would want to close your eyeballs is, for example, we're going to delete the background on the butterfly, but it's hard to see where the background is. So I'm going to click on background here and close this eyeball. And now I can see the white area I want to delete. So take your mouse and you're going to go to the toolbar, which is right here. You're going to go down to this is called the quick selection tool. So if you hover your mouse over any of the tools, eventually the name will show up. So click on the quick selection tool. I'm actually gonna hold it down and I'm going to click on magic wand tool. It looks like that. Okay, magic wand tool. Now this is wonderful. If you just click It selects all of it. Now, that's not what I wanted, and I did this on purpose. So the magic wand tool selected the entire document. The reason it did that is because in my layers box, I have the background selected, which is not what I want, because watch, if I hit delete, nothing happens. Delete, delete, nothing happens. Why? Because nothing's in the background layer to delete, okay? So, in order to make something work, in order for one of the tools to actually function, you have to click on the correct layer. So when I say highlight the layer, make sure your layer is selected, this is what I'm talking about. Right now I selected layer two, but I want layer one. 
okay? Now, if you look at the selection, it still has the entire document. If I hit delete, uh-oh, my butterfly's gone. But if you have your history window open, you can click back on the magic wand and your butterfly's back, okay? So what we have to do from here is to get rid of the selection, we're going to start over. We're going to deselect. That's what it's called. Deselect. So on your keyboard, you're going to hit Control D as in dog. So Control D and my selection is gone. So I'm going to start over again. I'm going to make sure the correct layer is selected. Layer 1. Make sure the magic wand is selected. Then I'm going to come over here to the white part and click. And you see how it selects the whole outline? Okay, now hit delete on your keyboard. Backspace, delete, whatever. And there it is. It's gone. It's just the butterfly now, which is what we want. Now again, we do want to unselect or deselect. It, the reason we do that is because if you try to do other things, you see how it's still selected? So you want to do control D and now you have your gorgeous butterfly. Okay. I'm going to click on the move tool here. This is a habit I'm in. You always go back and click on the move tool. Um, and so I can place this butterfly anywhere. I do want you to have movement with your butterflies. Um, have them go from one side smoothly to the other side. You can straight up copy the example or you can do something slightly different. What we're going to do though is you're going to need a bunch of butterflies. So we have to copy and paste this layer a bunch of times. So I'm going to actually in the layer box take layer 2 and I'm going to drag layer 2 to the trash can. Boop. Okay. Now I'm going to click on layer 1 and I'm going to drag layer 1 to the rectangle with the corner pulled up right there next to the trash can and that is going to make a layer one copy which means that there's now two butterflies but you don't see two butterflies because they are stacked on top of each other okay so remember Photoshop is a blank piece of paper a whole bunch of blank pieces of papers a stack of paper and when you put all the clear pieces of paper together, you may not see exactly what's underneath something. So I currently have six butterflies here. Now to get those all to show up, make sure you select the right layer, and then go up here to the move tool, and then I can start moving my butterflies, okay? But you have to click the layer, move the butterfly, click the layer, move the butterfly. Move this guy up a little bit. All right. I'm going to make one more because I feel like there needs to be one more right up here. Now, I feel like all of this needs to move down just a little bit. So for that to happen, I need to select all the layers. If you click the top layer and then go to, okay, well, I'm get ahead of myself. Click the top layer, hold the shift button, click the bottom layer, all the layers are selected, and now I can move them to the bottom. It's a little trick. To unselect, you just click and it'll come back. Now there's this one that's kind of weird. It's like right on top of everything. I'm not in love with that. Is that this one? No, it's this one. So another thing is, this is a clear stack of papers. Currently layer one copy five is on top of the stack. That's why I see the entire butterfly. I do not want to see the entire butterfly. So I am going to take that and move it down the stack. Okay, so there it is there. Uh, maybe that's not helpful either. Let's see here. Which one would it be? Oh, that's just how I like it like that. Okay. So if something's, um, you want something to be on top, you click on it and drag it to the top. Does that make sense? 
Now, if that wasn't what you wanted, you can always click back in your history, and there you go. Okay. So that is copying and pasting your butterflies. You learned two things. You learned how to copy from the agenda page. You learned how to copy and paste in the layers box. Okay. Now we're going to do, 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 let's see here. Let's start with the bottom one here. And I can tell it's the bottom one by looking at the thumbnail and seeing at the bottom. Now I'm going to change the sizes. So to do that, you're going to hit Control and T at the same time. And I use one finger for that. I use my one hand. I use my pinky and then my index finger. So Control T, and then you can pull your hand up, and this will show up. Now, as soon as you pull your mouse outside of the square, it goes to the curved arrow, and you can angle your butterflies. Um, you can go to the corner and change the sizes. Now when you do this, oh gosh, you can distort it. But by my face, do you think I want you to distort it? Big fat no. Do not distort this one. So to get the transform, control, excuse me, control T to not do this. Squeeze it, stretch it, ugh, distort it. Hold the shift button down. See the difference? No shift, shift, no shift, shift, okay? Being shifty in Photoshop is a good thing, apparently. So if you hold the shift button down, it helps your butterfly keep its original shape without distorting it and distracting it. Now to get out of transform, I didn't even think about it. When you're in transform, you can't go do anything else like Photoshop won't let you do anything else so you need to get in the habit of hitting enter enter cements it leaves it the way it is and you should be happy little camper after that so I'm gonna go through here and do control T to all the rest of these I'm gonna change the sizes change the directions I'm gonna oh, I'm gonna have my butterflies get a little bit bigger as they come around. What's the next one? Which one's the next one? Probably this one. No. So I use the eyeballs to help me figure out which layer is the layer I want. Okay, that's the layer. Then you have to select the layer. Control T. T is in Tony. T is in Tom. To transform and move it. And again, I want you to have some movement, some motion with us. I'm not changing the sizes on those because I like them. I'll make this one a little bit bigger. So control T, a little bit bigger. Make it turn just a little bit. Next one is this one. Control T. I'm gonna have it angle this way. Hit enter to get out of control T. I want this to there we go. So what I did, I dragged it under the layer. I didn't like seeing the bottom part because I don't see the bottom part on most of the other ones, so I dragged it underneath layer one. All right, click on this layer, move this guy down, control T. I'm gonna turn it a little bit. I might make this a little bit smaller, so I'm holding the shift button down. Again, I don't like seeing the bottom part, there we go. And then this one, control T, twist it. Where should I put this? Twist it too much. Make it a little bit smaller. Hit enter. Again, I'm gonna put that underneath. 